The protection of human rights is the way to protect the public's health because it serves a huge public health need, especially in the context of HIV where there is stigma, where there is misinformation, where there is a lot of fear, uh, where there has been deaths. We know of people who have been killed, uh, we know of people who have committed suicide, we know of children who are thrown out of schools. Uh, it is re really important, especially in the HIV context, not only because they are important in themselves, because they serve actually public health needs. In the context of HIV actually, uh, there's a very strong uh, public health logic about how human rights work. I can give you just a simple example. If, you, uh, if I go to a doctor and the doctor tests me and informs, say, my partner or say my family or my employer that I'm HIV positive, I'm just, if I share this information with someone who I know well or a friend or someone else who's had risky behavior, uh, what are the chances of that person going to that doctor? Not many. So if you, for instance, this is just one instance of guaranteeing confidentiality, that's a human right, privacy and confidentiality. If you guarantee that, you will encourage people to access healthcare. If you encourage people to access healthcare, you'll be able to track the epidemic and actually deal with it. If you don't do that, you're going to see a complete, and so for act, just simple public health reasons, protection of rights is important. For policymakers, it's very important to understand that there are public health, just logical public health reasons why we, we need to talk about this. Even donors, even governments need to understand this. For further information on human rights, HIV AIDS, and to endorse now more than ever the joint statement, visit www.hivhumanrightsnow.org.